meet again, planeswalker. Untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a combo deck featuring a devilish valet as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, a 3 mana 1-3 devil warrior with trample and haste, saying whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, double devilish valet's power until end of turn. So this card has combo written all over it, and there's a few ways to combo with devilish valet in standard. Could be playing pump spells so we can increase its power before we start to double it. We could be playing it alongside rabble rousing, which can make a Whole bunch of 1-1 tokens if we have enough attackers to then increase the valet's power, but I think the most consistent and probably most fun way to combo with valet is alongside Tent the Pests, a 2-mana instant, as an additional cost to cast it, we have to sacrifice a creature, and then we get to create X, 1-1 black and green pest tokens, where X is the sacrificed creature's power, and there's a lot of high-powered creatures in standard at a relatively low cost nowadays. The newly printed Shakedown Heavy, for instance, a 3-mana 6-4 with Menace with a weird drawback that potentially draws extra cards. And if we sacrifice a Shakedown Heavy to Tendepest with a Devilish Valet in play, we'll get it up to 64 power, which is usually enough to end the game on the spot. And then at 4 mana we also have Demogoth Titan, an 11-10 can only attack or block if we also sacrifice a creature, so not the best card individually, but a great combo with Tendepest. And if we sacrifice Titan to Tendepest with Valet in play, we can get it up to 2048 power, and that's before we factor in any additional ways to increase its power or play more creatures in the same turn. So a lot of combo potential and a lot of fun to be had. And then it also makes sense to include four copies of Fight Rigging, the Hideaway Enchantment, that can potentially play a card for free if we get a creature up to 7 power. And then we can also add plus 1 counters to our creatures to accomplish that. So Shakedown Heavy plus Fight Rigging lets us play a card for free pretty much right away. And that's another way to find the missing combo pieces, maybe find a Tentapest that we can then cast for free to combo off. And then we also have two copies of a Valky God of Lies, as we can play Tybalt Cosmic Imposter off our fight rigging. So that's another neat interaction. Can also play it early to maybe see what the opponent is working with and check out if they have any instant speed removal to mess up our combo. Then we also have a small sacrifice theme with our Eye Twitch and Shambling Ghast, letting us learn and potentially create some treasure tokens in the process. And that's why we have our seven card lesson sideboard, including environmental sciences to find a swamp, necrotic fumes as removal, conjuration useful for finding valet if we don't have one already, or maybe the large creature if we already have valet, containment breach can deal with artifacts and enchantments, double pest summoning, because sometimes we can just play pest summoning with a valet in play to deal quite a bit of damage, and mascot exhibition another nice curve topper. We also have two copies of Hunt for Specimens, which can also let us learn, grab one of those sideboard lessons. Can also use it to discard and draw instead of grabbing a lesson out of the sideboard, because sometimes we're missing a Ten the Pests, and then we cannot find it with our basic conjuration, so we would rather discard and draw as opposed to learning. And sometimes we also have one of our high-powered creatures in hand that we want to discard to the learn mechanic, so we can set up our Corpse Explosion as an additional cost to cast it. We have to exile a creature from our graveyard, and then deal damage equal to the exiled card's power to each creature and each planeswalker, so a nice reset button to buy us a little bit more time. Then Deadly Dispute, of course, to combo with Eye Twitch and Shambling Gas, drawing cards making treasure to dig towards the missing pieces. And Turn Timber Symbiosis can be played as a land or a 7 mana sorcery and look at the top 7 cards to find a creature and put it in play, potentially with some additional plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, which also plays quite nicely with the Devilish Valet. So that's another card we can play for free through Fight Rigging to potentially find our Valet, and then those extra counters will also amount to a lot of extra damage. And then Fight Rigging, another way to potentially potentially put some counters on the valet before we start doubling its power, so that can also quickly add up. And then our mana base includes our new Proving Ground, a nice trial land, and then four copies of Rockfall Veil, Death Camp Glade, or Black Green Pathway. We've got one Abandoned Mire and six basic swamps. Don't want any basic mountains or lands that can only produce red mana, otherwise we may not be able to play our Titan on curve. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw, and our hand is just missing 10 the pests to combo off. And uh, yeah, overall seems like a keepable hand. Well, speak of the devil. 
and uh, get this going. Put in blue red, so they might have some interaction here, unfortunately. Ooh, never mind, a mill deck. They could still have some burn spells, maybe a bounce spell as well. But typically, they're more focused on milling as opposed to interacting. So, play Shambling Ghast. And then our Corpse Explosion is also going to be online, as we already have a Titan in the graveyard. Potent does seem to be holding a 1-mana Bounce Spell, potentially. So that's a concern. Means they'll have to be tapped out for us to combo them off. So the plan is... Could play Valet next turn. And then... Turn 4 Titan, turn 5 Ten the Pests, or we can wait if we have 5 mana to play Valet and Ten the Pests in the same turn. Now I guess that we have a backup copy. I don't mind running one out there, especially because if our opponent uses Field of Ruin on the Proving Ground, we're not going to have any red mana left, since we don't have Basic Mountain because of Titan. So, yeah, let's get a Valet out there and attack. Potent is probably going to be able to piece together what we're planning if they mill over Tempepests. And I guess they already did, so... Yeah, it's going to be difficult to kind of catch them off guard. Could always go for a Corpse Explosion if they play another Rune Crab. Otherwise, hope they tap out for some reason. Potent passes with 4 mana. Well, I can uh, play Titan, attack, and then take it from there. Or we could play a second valley, so we have two creatures they have to answer the turn we combo off, which I don't hate. Going for Titan and then just Tender Pests, having some leftover 1-1s one could potentially close out the game if our opponent doesn't have a board wipe, which is also the concern with playing double valley, is they could have, like, uh, burn down the house, deal 5 to everything, and kill both valleys. So I think the safest play is probably going to be play Titan here. And then we can potentially combo next turn. Might as well attack first, in case they decide to deal with the valley right now. Who is at 18? Play Titan, which could also get countered for all we know. Resolves. And our opponent may be setting up Field of Ruin, uses Fading Hope on Titan. Fair enough. And another Fading Hope on Valet. Okay, so it's going to take us a few more turns to set up the combo. But hopefully they're out of interaction now. Another iteration for card draw. Opponent finds Fading Hope, but forced to play it now. So kind of surprised they didn't put it in hand instead. Down to 37 cards in library. Bounces Shambling Ghast. I'm glad they haven't used Field of Ruin yet. Okay, there's an extra red source that's important. So we could Corpse Explosion right now just to get this Ruin Crab out of the way. But that doesn't leave a ton of mana to play other things. So, I think this turn can go Shambling Ghast plus Titan. And then next turn we can Valet plus Tender Pests. Titan first in case of Jory Disruption. Pass it back. Now our opponent does have a lot of red mana, so they might have Invoke Calamity to replay Fading Hope from the Graveyard. At this point, we can also Corpse Explosion for, let's say, 6, which does not kill our own Titan. And then Titan can also just attack by sacking Shambling Ghast. So, we're in an interesting spot. I think we have to try and set up the combo, although now Fight Rigging is an interesting twist. So if I play Valet... I can sacrifice Shambling Ghast to the Titan and then attack, see how they respond. 
and then if they try and bounce the Titan, for instance, we get them with Thunder Pests. So, let's try that. And if they want to chump with Rune Cramp, be my guest. It's going to be Prismari Commands. Killing Shambling Ghasts. Okay, so... I guess in response we want to tend the pests. Otherwise Titan will have to sacrifice itself or the valet. That's a lot of triggers. And at the very least we'll have some pests left over. And our opponent explodes! Awesome! Well, we can do the math here, but it's pretty simple since we didn't have any modifiers on the valet beforehand. So it's just uh, doubling its power 11 times, which, uh, yeah, is more than enough here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Our hand is quite powerful. Missing red mana for valet, although the treasure token could help. And then... We also have the Shape Down Heavy plus Fight Regain combo. Play this tapped for now. Also reasonable to play Ghasts, turn 1 and then a tapped. Symbiosis turn 2, especially if we drew something like the uh, Deadly Dispute to Sacrifice Ghast on 2. Up against Mono White Aggro, Shambling Ghast lines up quite nicely against Adversary. And if they use Brutal Cathar here, they don't have it for Shakedown Heavy, so that's still acceptable. Could also find Rigging first, and then Shakedown Heavy. But I kind of like having the extra blocker in play, force them to have another removal spell. Opponent passes. Valky the draw. Well, time for Fight Rigging. And see what we get. Putin might have a Wandering Emperor here, so probably not attacking with Shakedown Heavy. Finding not exactly what we were hoping for. Could grab a Rockfall Veil. It's not actually terrible. Or we can grab another Fight Rigging to try and get Tender Pests, but still need to play the Valet first, and we have another Fight Rigging in hand. So kind of like the Rockfall Veil here. Counter on Heavy. And I guess we've already played land, so won't be able to play the Veil this turn, but we will be able to next turn. There's a Wandering Emperor. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. Counter on the Wolf. Strike fast and strike hard. And Thalia are gonna make our non creatures more expensive. Plus a Spellbinder to mess with our hand. Might get another Fight Rigging. Valet we can still play for the increased cost. And then they can target Brutes, which is going to switch back. So I guess it's going to exile my Heavy in my turn. So I'll have to play Demogoth Titan to have access to Veil. Which is kind of annoying. Or we can play Heavy and then Valky. And hope to find a Tender Pests with our second fight rigging. Grab Aspirant. Another Spellbinder, yep. Probably grabs fight rigging. So next turn play valet. Turn after. Hopefully land for fight rigging. Find a tender pests. If we're not dead by then. Okay, there's a land, so I could play fight rigging, but I need valet and play first. So might as well do that. 
And then there's no risk of Cathar exiling anything else. So I guess we're dead to our opponents drawing an untapped land and animating Cave of the Frost Dragon in combination with the extra counter from Wandering Emperor. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And we'll uh, pump Valley. So just draw a random creature, please. Spellbinder. I guess we'll need another untapped land too for the Thalia attacks. If we want to play Thunderpass of Fight Rigging. So, need to get pretty lucky here. Opponent hits us for 9. Okay, so we're not dead yet. So, untapped land off the top. Thunderpass with Fight Rigging, easy peasy. Could also top deck Thunderpass, I suppose. Okay, we found the untapped land. Okay, top 5 to find one Thunderpass, so let's go. There we go, okay. Now there's still one caveat. Opponent cannot have another Wandering Emperor in their hand. Otherwise we're gonna look like a fool. So counter on Valley might as well. Wanna see big numbers. Then the pests. Sacrifice Shakedown Heavy. Uh oh. I also just realized that our opponent has 6 power of first strike back on defense, so they could just double block our valet and not take any damage. So hopefully they missed that particular interaction, otherwise we're also not gonna get there. And our opponent actually takes it, wow. The big numbers, enough of a distraction here to carry us across the finish line onto the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and we've got the entire combo rolled up here, including Fight Rigging plus Shakedown Heavy. Now we're lacking any early play. Don't have any 1 or 2 drops. And appear to be up against a blue deck, so... Counter spells are certainly a concern. So I guess we can Fight Rigging first, since that's a card I don't really mind if it gets answered. That resolved pretty swiftly. Find Demogoth Titan, I suppose. And hope we get to play Shakedown Heavy, put a Demogoth Titan in play for free. Although they could have a one mana bounce spell here. Yeah, that seems fine. Make them play it. Yep, it's gonna be Fading Hope, Bouncing Shakedown Heavy. Could have played a tapped symbiosis, although who knows, maybe this game goes long enough where we actually end up playing it. Okay, we got a free Demogoth Titan, that's nice. So not sure if we should still play around Fading Hope or not. Opponent passes with 4 mana. And we technically have the entire combo rolled up here. Valet plus Thunder Pests. Might as well present it and see what happens. And then we can act accordingly. Just gonna attack with Shakedown Heavy. Alright, opponent big scores in response, that's fine. So if they don't have a 2 mana removal spell... We could kill them. Discarding Goldspan Dragon. Counter on Valet. Which potentially saves it from a 3 damage burn spell. But they could still have the aforementioned bounce spell as well. Alright, it's gonna be a Dragon's Fire, sadly. In that case, I might want a Deadly Dispute, Sag Valet. Or we can try and go wide with tokens by sacking Demogoth Titan, end of turn with Tender Pests. Kind of like the Deadly Dispute line here. Try and find another valley, because we want to see big numbers. And then Heavy can attack. Could play Eye Twitch. 
Alright, put on Lotus Draw. That's nice of them. So, yeah, we're pretty close to just hard casting Symbiosis as well. I think we can hang on to Eye Twitch. Probably gonna see another gold span since they discarded one. Yep. Okay. Smoldering Egg also close to transforming. And there's another valley. Double Tender Pests to cast alongside it as well. Alright, let's hope they don't have another Dragon's Fire. It's gonna be a slip out the back, phasing it out, so it's temporarily gone. Alright, fair enough, it'll be back next turn. And then I might want to play Eye Twitch as an extra blocker here. And then we can still tend the pests if we'd like. Another symbiosis. Small chance we're dead here if they can string enough spells together. Now Valet's for toughness, but they do have a transformed Ashmouth Dragon, so any burn spell or two instants could still kill the Valet. So, yeah, not sure how this will end. If we hard cast Symbiosis, I'm not gonna have enough mana to also tend the pests in case we find another valley. Prismari Command kills Eye Twitch. Dragon goes face, that works. Discards two lands, and Eye Twitch can learn four Necrotic Fumes, perhaps. Could get a basic conjuration to try and find another valet. But let's see, if I play conjuration... Yeah, I guess if I take three of symbiosis as a land, I could conjuration, find valet, play it, and tend the pests. Alright, give it a shot. Expressive iteration can deal too. So, are we dead? If our opponent can find two more spells, we are. At least Iteration kind of forces them to tap out to an extent. Finds a land, okay, so seems like we're safe for now. Opponent keeping Ashmouth on defense is a good sign as well. And then do I want to tend the pests? A shakedown heavy, perhaps. Sure. Kind of gauge their response. Didn't seem like they had any. So, yeah, we can conjuration first if we'd like. But our opponent concedes. Alright, well, we would have been able to attack with Demogoth Titan, sacking a token. But most likely just kill them with Tendapest, sacking Demogoth Titan with Valet picking another counter from Fight Rigging, so 3 power, plus we could maybe still cast another creature alongside it to grow it even more. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand is just missing a Valet. So, yeah, I guess we'll keep it. Could also just tend the pests Demogoth Titan making 11 Pest Tokens, which might be good enough. And then Shakedown Heavy could also kind of function as a card draw engine. Well, let's see what we're up against. Black Whites, another Tender Pests. Not bad in this hand. At least Tender Pests is instant speed, so by playing it in the opponent's end step, we play around Meat Hook Massacre. Tenacious Underdog meets Shakedown Heavy. Black-White will have quite a bit of removal, potentially instant speed as well, for our large creatures. So that's my main concern right now. Splashing blue as well, and Skyclave exiles heavy. That's too bad. Can play another heavy, or can play Titan, which won't really be able to attack or block by itself, but sets up our Tenderpest a little bit better. 
And it's more mana efficient too. In case we draw land, we can play heavy Tender Pest next turn. Wedding announcements, making some tokens. Opponent attacks. Ooh, there's the valet. Okay, so now we're just a land away from presenting lethal out of nowhere. So I'm kind of into the idea of keeping the valet secret, not exposing it to removal. And then for now, maybe play a shakedown heavy or another titan. I guess we'll go with a heavy. Diversify our threats a little bit. And then just one untapped land of the top. As long as our opponent's tapped out, Vanishing Verse hits Shakedown Heavy. Underdog token attack. Come on, land. Another Tender Pests. Okay, well, I think we're still on the Valet plan as opposed to just Tender Pest Titan. Four mana for Sorin, that's fine. Can play all the mid-range cards you want. Just give us an untapped land, please. There we go. Beautiful. Play Valet. Attack, face. Opponent's gonna block with a Vampire. Sacrifice Demogoth Titan. And rejoice. Yeah, I think we've got enough here. Couple thousand to spare. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand is missing a few too many elements, I think. No Valet, no Tender Pests, no Fight Rigging to go with Shakedown Heavy, no Deadly Dispute to go with Shambling Ghast, so it's a little bit too disjointed. This is better. Missing Tender Pests, would love a Fight Rigging as well, but certainly a keep, and then Symbiosis can probably go. Another Shakedown Heavy I'll take. Turn to Thrilling Discovery, so some sort of reanimator deck, maybe with Invoke Justice. Discarding Vorinclex, yep, that makes sense. There's Demogoth Titan, so no shortage of large creatures, just need to tend the pests now. Or Fight Rigging can dig pretty deep to find it. Can see a Fable here, perhaps. Restoration instead. Well, to my knowledge, this deck doesn't play a ton of instant speed interaction. So, outside of maybe a strangle killing valet, we should be good to go. So, I think we play heavy. And then... Can combine hunt for specimens with deadly dispute to dig a bit deeper. Planes goes in play. And then next turn we could see Invoke Justice getting back Vorinclex, which is gonna hit incredibly hard. Not quite as hard as our combo, if we can get it off, but requires fewer combo pieces. Opponent goes for a Fleet Foot Dancer, attacks. Kind of tempted to trade, because if they do have Invoke Justice, they can spread out the counters more if they get back Vorinclex and kind of spread it across two bodies. Shambling Ghast, alright, so we can sag that to Deadly Dispute. I'll do it in main phase. Vorinclex tramples anyway, so we wouldn't be able to absorb any damage. And to want to hit my land drop for the turn. Which we did. And we'll pass. Okay, so just a ton of pass away from a lot of damage potentially. Let's see if there's an Invoke Justice here. Nope, just a thrilling discovery, so we're safe for another turn at least. Put on discarding a burn down the house as well. So glad we traded Shakedown Heavy. 
Okay, so now what? Can play Demogoth Titan. I can hunt for specimens discarding and drawing as well. Don't expect him to have removal for Demogoth Titan. So, yeah, interesting spots. Can keep Proving Ground to cycle. Maybe play hunt discarding Shakedown Heavy. And then we can still play Demogoth Titan. And then Valet plus Tendepest could kill them out of nowhere. They might have a Wandering Emperor here in hand, which does worry me a little bit, because that can exile my Valet. But they might be tempted to run it out. So I think we discard Heavy and draw. There's Tendepest, okay. So is there any way I can cast everything next turn? So... 5, 9 mana total, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we're one short. So I think we tighten now, hope it doesn't get removed, and then next turn. We've got the combo rolled up, assuming no Wandering Emperor. Opponent passes, so I'm still a little concerned about an Emperor here. Kind of hoping they have an Invoke Justice now, so they'll be tapped out. And looks like that might be the case. Can sacrifice my pest token to block with Demogoth Titan if needed. There's Invoke Justice. There's a very large foreign Clex coming up. 14-14. Yeah, that's pretty large. I'll take it. My turn. Thank you very much. How about a valley and an attack? And let's tend to the pests. And watch as our numbers go up. Lovely. Awesome. Well, that was a very satisfying end to this series. And yeah, overall, quite impressed with how the combo performed. Is it the most consistent deck in Standard? Absolutely not. Is it the most fun deck in Standard? I would argue that it's definitely up there. So yeah, give it a shot if you've got the cards for it. It's a blast to play and uh, this is probably the Standard deck that can output the most damage the fastest as we can already combo on turn 5 dealing upwards of 2000 damage. So it's definitely one for the ages. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and as always, have a nice day. All right, I wanted to do a quick science experiment to see how much damage we can deal with Devilish Valley if we're playing against Sparky and are given all the time in the world to set up. So the goal is to sacrifice Devilish Valley to our Tenta Pests after sacrificing maybe a Demogoth Titan so we can increase a second Valley's power exponentially and hopefully reach some uh, integer overflow number that will uh, deal a couple billion damage. Move to combat. Want all the fight riggings going on the valley. Play another one. Okay, and this is where the fun begins. Attack with triple valley. Can let them block first. And start with one Tender Pests. Sack Titan. It's gonna be a lot of triggers. And if we want to maximize our damage, then we probably do another Titan, and then we've got two more valleys we can sacrifice. We will reach the token limits of 200 tokens. So, sacrifice this one, and we'll see if Arena crashes here. Okay, it's still kind of managing to keep up. Yeah, that's a lot of triggers on the stack right now. We made over 200 tokens, reaching the token limit. Otherwise, we would have made uh, about a million tokens here. 
So we'll give Arena some time to process. In the meantime, Devilish Valley up to 109 million, but that's about to be doubled over 200 more times. Sparky making some small talk while we wait. Alright, we got there, so Valley triggers on the stack. We've got two Devilish Valleys, so 452 triggers. And you can see the numbers going up. Oh boy. And seems like the numbers won't go any higher than 2 billion. So yeah, there you have it. We could turn the pests again, but since we're at the token limit, I don't think it will do anything. But might as well try, I suppose. Sacrifice Valet. And go to damage. Alright, sweet. 